Hi, this is Matt Cromwell with Give and WordPress.com, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you can use our Give Zapier add-on to um, auto-tweet whenever you get new donations. Basically, whenever you get a new donation on your website through the Give plugin, you can have a tweet get sent out and saying, "Hey, we just got a new donation, and we're excited about it." Um, that's what we're going to do. That's one of the simple examples that the Zapier uh, add-on allows. So the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, you, you need to make sure that you have a Zapier account and um, you're going to need to make sure that you get an invite for our Give integration uh, trigger. Uh, Zapier works with triggers and um, that link for the invite is here on our documentation page. If you just come here to Give to our documentation section you'll find your way to add-ons and Zapier and when you activate the plugin you'll be able to come down here next and go to give on Zapier and here's the invite link click on that and it says you've been invited to use an app on Zapier great from our good friend Devin hit accept invite and go to dashboard now you have the give trigger already and what we're going to do right away is make a zap Choose trigger. This is where we're going to find the give trigger. Just start typing give and it'll pop up just like that. Let's see. Choose a trigger. Let's do new donation. There are all these other options. Refund donation, abandoned donation, pending donation, failed donation, revoked donation, deleted donation, or new donor. Uh, most of these aren't really uh, useful for tweeting about, uh, but new donation really is. So let's choose new donation, and then we're going to choose an action app, which is Twitter. When this trigger happens, we want an action to happen, and that action is going to happen in Twitter. We're going to create a tweet. Hit continue, and now it's going to ask you to connect to Give. You're going to need to insert your public API key, and this is where you get it. Go over to your Give settings, and then you have an API tab. Click on that. By the time anybody watches this video, I will have revoked or reissued these keys, so they're not valid. Don't worry about it. Um, public key. We're going to paste that in right here. Token. We're going to paste that in right here. And then site URL. I'm doing this on a test site of mine. Continue. Testing this account. Account is working. Good. Continue. Now we're going to connect with my Twitter account. Do I want to follow Zapier? I already am, so I'm going to click no. Here's my account. I'm already logged in. Authorize this app. This account is now working also. Great, continue. Now, uh, this gives you the option to do conditional triggers. Do you want to do a certain thing? Well, in this case, I'm going to say yes. I want this trigger to only happen on a certain form. So, for example, let's go, what field is it? It's knocking on give, here we go, form name. We want the form name to exactly match my form over here. I have it all set up attend the charity ball. When the form name exactly equals attend the charity ball, that's when we want this trigger to happen. So that's all done. Hit continue. And now here's our tweet. Our... And now we can insert some give fields. Let's say form name. Our attend the charity ball campaign just got, let's do the total. Total is actually how much was donated, whereas price is the suggested donation. When you, If you don't fill that in, it'll say zero. Uh, on my form, I put in 50. So let's say, uh, but maybe they donated 100 or 200. Uh, let's hit the total. Our, camp, our form name campaign just got total 
closer to our goal of ten thousand dollars. Let's be a little bit cheesy just for fun. Blessed. Continue. And now we can test this sap. This is a great uh, feature that um, Zapier offers because now I don't have to actually tweet this in order to make sure that it works. So let's see what did Give actually send us. See the trigger sample. This is what Give sent us. The form price is how much was given. This is the email from the person. This is the form ID. This is the name of the form, Attend the Charity Ball. This is the date it was it, that it happened. This is because I already have some test um, donations already in this form. This is why this information is able to be populated there. If you don't have any information yet, what's gonna happen is Zapier's gonna say, hey, can you go add some information into your form, do a, a test donation basically, so that we can trigger this, um, this information. Um, but because I already have information there, that's what's gonna happen. Let's see now what did What's gonna show up in Twitter? Look, at here's the message. Our Attend the Charity Ball campaign just got $50 closer to our goal of $10,000. Blessed. <laughs> there we go. So we, there we go, we'll hit continue. And we'll call it Auto Tweet Charity Ball. Turns that on. And just for kicks, let's go ahead and do a donation of $100. Test donation with my name. Donate now. And I will delete this tweet quickly. But you see that it went through. We can see that on our transactions that it went through. Here it is. $100. Let's go to Twitter. Go to my account. There it is. Our Attend the Charity Ball campaign just got $100 closer to our goal of $10,000 plus. And delete that tweet. <laughs> cool. So it took just a second for it to refresh, but it got there no problem. And that is that. Thanks so much.